Hello everyone, this is the Fidel Master Alessandro Santagati and this is the video number 4 about the video series of advanced variation of the French and in this video we can go forward to see another important variation so e4, e6, d4, d5 in the introduction you can see a comment about all the first moves and so pin d6 and now white play a3 Le put in variation now my tip is play knight is six before c takes bishop takes g takes and c takes d4 bishop d7 how oh, i said in the last videos what can play here bishop e2 what can play h3 another option can be rook a2 and rook e2 uh, we will study rook a2 in this video we'll play after rook a2 Okay, we can play in the same way, so the classical idea for black is play rook g8 to rook g4. But the question is why why white move with the rook a2? The idea about this move is defend d4 playing rook d2 to defend d4 because in this kind of position a very big problem for white is defend this pawn. And after rook g8, maybe white can play g3 for example, rook g4, and now white can try to play rook d2. And now there is a very interesting question. Can black take the pawn before? So they did 93 before, a takes bishop before to take the rook. Okay, let's consider this option. In theory, if you play this move at the end, you take two pawns and rook, so seven points, against knight and bishop, so six points. So in theory, this option looks good for black because you can win a point. But in this kind of position, in which the minor pieces can play very well, and in this in the in this in the in those positions in which the activity, the initiative is very important, this kind of trade is not good for black. In fact, after knight is before, eight is before, bishop is before, bishop d3, it's true that he can take the rook, but after this, and maybe uh, maybe black can try to play a5, try to exploit the the. Two pawns connected on the queen side. After a castle, it will be very hard for black to try to exploit those two pawns. And the minor pieces of white are very dangerous in this kind of position. So my tip is don't go in this position. Don't reach this position with black. It's better to play a different, a different way. And now I will show you how to play it a different way. I think instead of tactics takes before, it's much better for black to play a5. a5 is very nice because after a5, you are taking the pawn and maybe. But I can take the pawn b5. So I mean, that take it. Uh, I can take the pawn a5. But in this case, you can play knight takes a5, and then this knight is very good. You can improve this knight, and you have a lot of play on the queen side. So I like this option for for black. I think black now is better. Another option for white can be maybe play b5. But now you can simply play knight a7 with a simple idea to attack the, the pawn. Now you have three attackers against this pawn. And the only way to defend it looks a4, but a4 is wrong because if white moves a4, now there is bishop b4 and you can take the rook, but now you take the rook only for the bishop, and now black is fine. For this reason, a5 is very good, and I prefer a5 and not knight takes b4. a5 is a strong move for black. And after b5, knight a7, after b takes a5, knight takes a5, and black is good. For this reason, if you reach this position, you can be very happy about it, you have no problems. Another option could be, instead of g3, maybe white could play h3 maybe, with the d to block the rook on g4, to take the square and avoid rook g4, maybe you, you know rook g4 is very dangerous and maybe white can try to avoid that. In this case, my tip is play simply castle queen side, so you can have a safe position for a king. Maybe you can also go on b8 then. And when white will play g3, we did get to have this bishop free to play because the bishop at the moment has to defend g2. So play g3 helps to move the bishop. Black can play h5 with a simple idea h4. So the point is that this knight on f3 is overloaded. So if white will try to play bishop e2, black can play h4. And it's not possible to take with a knight because black can take on d4. And if you take with the pawn, you play simply king b8, and the white king will stay 
uh, on the on the center and there are important lines to attack this king and uh, for this reason okay white at the moment is up a pawn but this pawn on h4 is not so important and we can understand that now black is better because black has the initiative black at the pieces plays it in a better way very good and the king is more safe of course for this reason uh this position is fine for black and uh, against rook e2 you need to know only this the maneuver is rook g8 rook g4 and you need that after rook d2 is not good sacrifice on before but it's much better play e5 and if you have this knowledge i think you can play this variation very well so i think you don't need other knowledge about that i think it's enough to play it in a tournament in your standard games okay so for this variation is all so about the variation of Knight h6, b4, c takes, bishop takes is all. Now we understood how to play against the white move, the white options. The classical idea for, white, for black is rook g8, rook g4. When white avoid that with h3, the classical idea is h5, h4. H5, H4. So that's very easy. If you know it, you can play this position without big problems. So that's the important knowledge that you must remember. And the question is, what can we see in the next video? In the next video, we will see after c takes d4 what to uh, what to do with the with black so we understand we will understand uh how to play uh against this pawn structure the pawn structure with the pawn d4 e5 b4 a3 with your knight on h6 in the game so for this video is all if you have questions feel free to comment below i will be happy to answer you and thank you again for watching and see you for the next video bye Remember to follow me on social networks and share the video with your friends. Thanks.